Good morning, fans of Rabbiteer FX. Coming at you on Friday. I guess this is the last Friday in April. Yep, 28th. Big update in stocks yesterday. Um, 4082 to 41.50. Currencies are a little bit subdued. Uh, dollar went higher on, on sort of inflationary releases. Today we got some more inflationary outcomes ECI employment cost index core PCE that's gonna be 230 Swiss time we also do have um, some European stuff coming out KOF in Switzerland and CPI in France and Spain and SMB Jordan's gonna speak um, these are things to watch out for BOJ is unchanged. That happened about uh, 55 minutes ago. Kind of a wild, you know. Yesterday we were toying with this 134.10. We traded all the way down to 133.40. All the way back up to 134.90, which is we are now, if you look at the dailies here. We talked about... Um, Resistance and congestion here, 135.40. We still believe that this, um, we're not going to break above this. It was pretty much expected. There were a few outliers out there saying that they were going to make a move, BOJ. So um, this looks like a fade somewhere between 135 figure and 135.40 um, in dollar yen. Elsewhere, Dollar Swiss did what we asked it yesterday. Um, as we mentioned, it's not really a break trade through 30. Traded up to 76, back down to 28, back up to 50. We caught it first time up, also second time up we bought it at 33. Second time down we just sold it here. Um, just nibbling uh, on some cash end of the week. Let's see how we go from here. Uh, this could go either way. This could make new highs. I do. Um, it seems weird that uh, Jordan's speaking today. I don't know where he's speaking from the SMB, uh, but that's something to watch. He might say something funny, and that might explain why the Swiss franc has turned. A lot of the insiders maybe were getting in front of this guy. Who knows? Um, but keep an eye out on that. That's. SMB has been very quiet since the uh, Credit Suisse uh, debacle, shall we call it. Um, let's see what he says. I doubt he'll say anything that would harm the Swiss franc. Uh, it's not really, not really his style. Um, what else is out there? Cable uh, is bid. This is the chart that uh, caught my interest, my strongest interest this morning. Um, which I guess says a lot. The charts don't look great. Um, we do have a lot of numbers coming out, so that'll create some vol. But as far as the levels, it's not super clear. But Cable looks like she wants to make a new eye here. Um, I don't know about buying low ones, but we're going to, if we see this thing above 125.05, we're going to hop on and get long and see why or what's happening. No sterling releases today. Um, but cable just looks bid. I mean, you can just see it's on this slight uptrend. The bias is right hand side. And now we have basically the the range highs, 125.50 are, are in sight. It's been a while since we've been up here. 126.60 from last June. Nobody even remembers that. Um, anyway, it just feels like, um, Cable is going to float higher here, so we're going to be watching this very closely. Otherwise, dollar CAD finally turned, um, but not really too hard. 135.88. We have CAD GDP today. If that comes in hot, we'll actually probably um, sell some dollar CAD. This just looks a little bit stretched, all of these updates. Um, Oil's now at 75.18, which is really nowhere, but, you know, it's up a buck. Who knows? Um, but let's keep an eye, especially if 
CAD GDP comes in hot and the inflation indicators out of the US come in cold um, dollar CAD could be your horse but of course that'll be super tricky um, liquidity wise over a number so Aussie's a bit of a conundrum here with stocks still at their highs uh, I'm not sure what we're doing down here technically I guess this is this is probably a buy but um, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. So keeping it pretty light here, I'll fade this dollar yen if we get onto the 135 handle. Um, and I'll be watching this cable closely this morning. And then we'll um, recenter and get ready for the numbers at 2.30 um, Swiss time. Not a lot to say this morning, so I'll just cut it short. Talk to you guys on Monday. Ciao.